Hi guys, JNM here with the next part of the Unreal Engine 4 C++ tutorial and today I show you some methods to work with transforms. Here's the result first. The task is to move the mesh we assigned up in set direction when the character has a certain distance to it and to bring it down again otherwise. So let's jump right in, open the header file of our MyActor class and the first thing we need is a new property that we can edit in the editor of type AActor. To this member variable, I'm going to assign the top-down player. Ok, now the variable is added and I open the editor and compile and after that you can see the public player variable on the details tab and we can assign our top-down player to it. Then I go back to Visual Studio, to the CPP file and calculate the distance between the player and the MyActor object. We can do this by using the method getDistance2. Ok, if the distance is less than a magic number, let's say 250, I want to lift this block up in set direction. But to do this I need to know where the block is located when it is spawned so I will add a new variable of type fVector to store this current location. And we don't need to see it in the editor, so it doesn't have to be a new property and it can be private as well. In the begin play when the actor is spawned, I get the current location of the mesh because it's the mesh that I want to move, not the actor. And this can be done by using the method of the mesh get relative transform get location okay now we stored our current location but you know what let's rename this to m current mesh location so that it is clear that it is not the location of the actor and in the tick method i assign this current location to a local f vector variable and if the distance is less than 250 I increase the set value of this local variable. And in each case, I set the new relative location of the mesh to this mesh location variable. And that's basically it, really just a few lines of code. It has some issues regarding performance because this calculation is always executed, which is not needed, but I will show you how to improve this in one of the next tutorials. Now I compile again and start and this seems to work for this actor. By the way, if you want to move a mesh around, it has to be defined as movable. So when I change this here in the editor for the mesh and define it as static, you get warnings when you start your game for each line in your code where you try to set the location of a static mesh. And as you can see, these are a lot of lines because we set the location on each frame which should also be optimized. Ok, now if you like you can go ahead and remove the existing blocks and replace it by duplicates of your actor and then you get the result that I showed in the beginning of the video. Alright, that was a simple programming task and a simple solution just to show you some new functions for Unreal Engine and C++. In the next part I will show you how to let your C++ classes work together with blueprints. So if you like this channel guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your support and see you soon on JNM.